<laughs> oh. oh my gosh, really though. It'd just be it'd be so interesting to see a cop's reaction to that. Hey, welcome back, you beautiful people. It is your favorite boy from the Midwest, Ethan, and today we're going to be looking into some more British comedy. You guys have highly, highly, highly recommended this man that I'm about ready to check out. This man's name is the one and only Lee Evans. This will be my first time ever checking out anything done by him. I just know in almost all of the comedy reaction videos that I've done, you guys keep recommending. Do Lee Evans, do Lee Evans, and that is what I'm finally doing here today, checking out Lee Evans. Right off the bat, for some reason, I really don't know why, but I thought he was like an old comedian. I don't know where I got that like idea in my head, but I looked him up, and what's surprising is he, he is actually kind of old. He's 57, which is ridiculous. He looks he looks phenomenal for 57. I would have guessed like 40. I really don't know where I got the idea that he was some old comedian, and that all his bits were going to be like from the 90s or the 80s or something. Anyway, guys, the bit that we're looking in today is police horses and spotting murderers from Lee Evans. Again, this is the first time I've ever checked anything out by him. But before we get in the video, let's see if we can get 1,000 likes on this video. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm, and it also lets me know that you enjoy this type of content. If you're new, just, just subscribe. Just like, just do it. If you're a recurring subscriber, just know I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you. I also want to let you guys know that I have noticed the increase in subscribers on this channel, and it is amazing and just blows my mind away like seven months ago i had no channel never done anything on youtube and now i'm like 22,000. it's just amazing and awesome so thank you guys so much anyway guys with that being said let's get in this and check out lee evans for the very first time i see that sometimes on the road you ever see that that van with that sign on the back dog unit i always think i'm gonna pull up alongside of it big fucking alsatian driving like that <laughs> you know fur rolled up fag on her <laughs> get the police dog thing they always train those dogs to weave really fast between a row of traffic cones step over tiny hurdles sit when told and run through that dog tunnel what's the point in teaching those dogs to do that when have you ever seen a major bank job and the robbers burst out the bank and go <laughs> okay let's go 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 <laughs> <laughs> sorry for the police sometimes they're at a disadvantage like sometimes you'll see a policeman on horseback in the middle of the town whose idea was it to put a copper on a horse in the middle of a major city i mean we got cars now it's not the 1700s how the fuck does that work there's a copper sat on a horse right a car goes past we got a joy rider let's go gentlemen <laughs> you know the fucking horse is oh. like Wee! Unmarked horse, do you? <laughs> you know with the plain clothes copper on top? Trying to blend in outside Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Easy champion, I don't think anyone's noticed. <laughs> See, they use the big horses for the big crimes. In that case, they should use Shetland ponies for community policing. <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh that would be that would be so funny to see a cop on a Shetland pony wow so yeah so far off the bat he's really funny I just want to say though I've actually never seen a cop on a horse in person I think that's like in New York City or like the really big cities I've seen them on bicycles and even then like I don't understand like why they have cops on bikes and horses it just I guess in the city they can weave in and out of traffic better you please <laughs> Some kids playing football on the field, a copper turns up. Ah, you're not allowed to play football on that fucking field. <laughs> Fuck off, you're not a real copper. Hey, come here, you little bastard. Oh. I mean, why are they still using horses? It's ridiculous. That's like, officer down, send back up, officer down. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you just wait. Oh. There. What's going on with police sirens these days? It used to be just two notes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> these new ones, they sound like your nan after she just heard a bit of bad news. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Better change the old ones because it always sounded like giving up as it had gone past. It was like da, 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 da. <laughs> I like the 
modern ones when they get stuck in traffic. Have you heard them when they do that? <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. As soon as one of those modern police cars gets stuck in traffic, it's like, wee! 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 Oh, yes, I was walking. He's being oh, touched oh, off oh. by all the other cars, you know. <laughs> it's like these new car alarms. What's going on with car alarms these days, you know? It used to be just one sound. Now they've got a whole repertoire when they go off. Somebody sets off at three in the morning up your street. You sit there and go, Woo! Woo! Step away from the car, please. Step away from the car. Woo! Please turn up. <laughs> 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 oh, that walk. Step away from the car, please. <laughs> Crime is on the increase. I don't get the criminal system in this country. You can kill somebody, plead insanity, and get away with it. No, I didn't mean to kill all those people. I'm just a bit mental, that's all. <laughs> that's all right. I might, I might try that one. Next time I'm pulled over by the police for speeding, he'll be knocking on my window going, Do you know why your window down, sir? I'll be in the car going, Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I don't even know what a cop would do in that scenario. Like, I, I don't know like what all their training entails, but I'm sure it doesn't include that. Oh my gosh, really though. It'd just be, it'd be so interesting to see a cop's reaction to that. Like, either they laugh or they probably freak out. Oh wow, that's a lot of people. <laughs> you fucking caught on a speed camera, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed when, whenever some nutcase turns up on the news because he's killed somebody, all his neighbours always say that same ridiculous thing. Well, he didn't show any troubling warning signs. <laughs> well, no, of course he didn't, because if he jumped out the bushes and shot you through the air with his own made crossbow, you might have said at that point, you know, there's something <laughs> fucking wrong with that bloke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's too late after they killed someone. That's like saying one more violent murder like that, and I take that as a fucking warning sign. <laughs> it's like when they warn us on the news, you know, a prisoner has escaped and he's on the loose, and we need your help in finding him. And then they say, but do not approach this man, he is highly dangerous. Well, what the fuck do they expect us to do? <laughs> I mean, you have to be within murdering distance to recognize anybody. <laughs> Walking through Birmingham town centre, you go, ah, fucking hell, is that that psychopathic killer fella on the news? <laughs> that looks like that fucking nutcase on the news. <laughs> no, oh, wait a minute, let me have a closer look, hold on. Say <laughs> 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 now, I thought it was you. Oh. So they always say that one as well. He was such oh. a quiet man. Kept himself very much to himself. Bit of a loner, actually. Yeah, that's because anyone he ever met, he murdered the shit out of him. <laughs> Have you noticed any time there's an incident on the news, the outside reporter bloke turns up, starts interviewing all the neighbours? Have you noticed it's always boring people? Some bloke standing there in a pole in it going, well, I was in me shed. <laughs> I heard the scream and I came out to see what was happening, you know. But you never see, you never see like a couple, do you, standing there in fucking rubber gear, you know? <laughs> well, we just settled in for a serious night of some S and M, isn't that right, mistress? <laughs> you know, his wife's next to him in a, in a fucking gib mask, you know? <laughs> yes, and I just said, shut up, you slave, and lick my knees. <laughs> I don't really know quite what I was expecting. Uh, he was very different. I don't know, it just made me laugh so much. <laughs> it's, it's just, wow, just super funny. He kind of reminded me a little bit of Michael McIntyre with his energy and comedic like style, like walking up and down the studio. And then he also kind of reminded me of Peter Kay and because how sweaty he was. But he's definitely different. Like he's not, he's like his own style. Like if this is what he does in every single uh, bit, yeah, he's definitely on his own scale. I don't know, it was just so funny. That's all I have to say about it. It's just, he kind of reminded me a little bit of like old school actors and comedy duos, kind of like the Three Stooges, Charlie Chaplin. Um, 
He definitely reminded me of this American actor called Donald O'Connor. He was a musical comedy actor and he played like in Singing in the Rain. I don't know if you guys have seen that American movie, but definitely like a lot of the old, like old school, like 50s comedy actors that had to rely on the physical comedy aspect as opposed to like dialogue and stuff. It seems like he would fit in like almost a hundred years ago to even now. So I would say that like, he would probably appeal to a huge range of audience because of that. And obviously like uh, so far, like British comedians, like that was definitely the biggest stadium I've seen uh, filled by a comedian. So I don't know guys, I just, I didn't want to pause too much because I just was wanting to enjoy the comedy and he was making me laugh too hard. I didn't want to like interrupt it. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for recommending Lee Evans to me. If there's more popular bits of his that you guys want me to check out, uh, comment below and let me know. And with that being said, that is all I have for the video. But again, just one more time, thank you guys for recommending this. I'm definitely wanting to check out more of his stuff in the future because, yeah, he was just hilarious. Anyway, guys, thank you so much, and thank you for all the support on the channel. Please be safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.